Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe uh, and click on the notification button down below. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys 8 tips on how to save money. Um, the first tips I'll be discussing today is one that I have um, personally used extensively in the past. Um, this is something that has saved me lots and lots of money so and the tips would be looking around I know it's very tempting to go to the first um, maybe website or store that you can find to find products um, I know many of my friends that does this but essentially growing up my <laughs> I actually to funny the funny thing is I actually learned this tip from my mom uh, growing up my mom would go to maybe five or six different stores in order to buy one item um, just to get the best deal so essentially the first tips is looking around uh, it's very tempting to go to just maybe Amazon or you know Best Buy or whatever to buy that products that you might be looking for but don't forget that there are often discount sites like uh, eBay's there are where you can get really good deals. Um, recently, I've just recently purchased a, a brand new tripod that I saw on um, Amazon for uh, I think it was like $172 and I found it on eBay for 59 bucks. So I saved extensively on that. So again, yeah, this is one of the most important tips that I have learned over the years is looking around, just checking everywhere, making sure that to make sure that you're getting the best deal for the product. The second tips I'll be giving you guys today is uh, buying second hand. Uh, similar to the first one, uh, buying second hand is one of those things that, you know, many people don't often do, but can really save you significant amount. I have bought many items over the years second hand not only because I was willing to save the money but just to avoid the taxes that you pay on those items like most of the time you are finding brand new products like lenses like camera gears second hand that are practically brand new maybe the individual only opened it once and used the item once now they're trying to get rid of it you can find those items at a very significant discount and you can also avoid it avoid paying taxes on it um, on those items because somebody else has already paid it for you the third tips that i will be discussing today is buying glass container versus plastic container um, over the last two or three years, I've uh, significantly reduced the amount of uh, plastic containers that I use uh, just um, for a lot of reason. One of the, one of the biggest reason is um, plastic containers start to turn yellow after a while. Um, uh, for me, I, I do a lot of meal prep for work. So buying plastic container i find that i'm replacing them more often than um than i would like to um before i used it once or twice you will start to already see the yellow creases on inside and not only that um many of them you don't know what kind of chemicals and stuff that they are made out of uh, so even those ones that says, um, you know, BPA f free or whatever, um, I don't trust those products. It's just best to buy glass products. I know that glass products can be very expensive. Uh, but if you check, um, one of the biggest places I tend to go when I'm buying glass products is um, <clears throat> a glass container is um, dollar store dollar store have fantastic prices on glass products some of the the glass products that i bought uh, i bought them maybe like four canadian dollars four dollars canadian at the dollar store and they've lasted quite a while granted you probably can't put them in the uh oven but they work perfectly well for what i need them for which was basically to take my meal to work and reheat them in the microwave they work f fairly well for that um 
just so you know you might need to buy a couple extra because i've had one break on me um i think i don't know exactly how it got broken but i just realized that later on that one of the pro uh, one of the glass had broke uh when i was trying to wash it i saw a little bit of crack so that's probably one of the disadvantage of buying a glass product but i find that you know if you're very careful with them they can be very very amazing um compared to buying plastic also you don't get that weird i don't know whether or not i've mentioned this before but the weird taste that you get when you're eating when you're eating in a plastic pro, uh plastic plastic container um that's one of the most annoying thing you can taste the, the previous meal that you've had uh before the new the meal that you're eating right now in the plastic and many of the many times those smells don't go away so yeah again buy glass container buy glass container glass meal prep container as opposed to um plastic one can be something that will save you money in the long run because you're not having to replace those products also they are very environmentally friendly that's one of the things that i guess maybe um i can touch on is um they're very very environmentally friendly um <clears throat> you're not having to replace those products very often um and yeah number four is meal prepping meal prepping is another one of those things that i know some people do but i find that not very many young people are doing this kind of thing especially when you're in university meal prepping is one of those things that can really really help you avoid some of the um horrible meal choices that we often tend to make um for me i know i gained maybe about 15 or 20 pounds um in my first year of university so if you can avoid it um meal prepping uh maybe one of your meals or two of your meals uh for the week so for me right now for work i would usually meal prep my dinner because i'm usually not going to be home eating my dinner at home i usually eat my dinner dinner at work so um i would meal prep my meal and then take it to work it's not very convenient to just pick meal up on my way to work either um so win-win in that situation you can save lots of money by not having to buy those meals usually the qu quality of the meals that you're often having to get on your way to work are very terrible for you and yeah you can just live a better life by and save a lot more money by you know just making uh meals at home uh one of the days maybe monday or you know sunday because my <clears throat> for me my weekends are usually like um uh thursday to sunday so thursday to saturday i should say yeah those are usually my meals so one of those days are usually dedicated to like going grocery shopping and meal prepping so definitely finding time to do that can be something that would save you a lot of money number five buying generic uh buying generic is one of those things that can also save you a lot of money um if you compare the prices of uh, brand name products versus generic products you'll find that you know for the vast majority of time the con content of those products are is essentially the same while the prices will vary significantly um so you know but you just save yourself some money by buying you know generic product generic products are cheaper and will for for vast majority of time save you a lot of money um for some products um name brand products might have better quality but i find for vast majority of product um that just isn't the case um generic products will be sufficient for a lot of for a lot of things that we're buying number six number six thing that you can do to save a lot of money is by exercising at home 
Uh, this is something that I've been doing for the past one year now. Um, is watching YouTube videos and doing my exercise at home. Essentially, you're getting the same quality of things that you would be doing at the gym. Um, you're essentially getting it for free. So, you know, maybe it might cost you some money for your internet, but those are something that you might already be paying for or, or, or before. So, you know, why not take advantage of that and watch some really amazing YouTube videos uh, that that would offer you great um, uh, physical activities. Um, some of my favorite channel for exercises are either Robert Singh and um, uh, Pop Sugar. Um, I yeah, I would definitely recommend those two channels. Um, I think there's another one. Um, Ash Fit Fitness. Those ones are also great. Yeah, but those three are amazing, amazing channels that you can watch for really amazing exercise exercises. I typically do um, around 30 minutes to 40 minutes of HIIT exercises every day. Um, some days I might do low impact. Some of, some of the activities uh, require equipment for, for vast majority of the activities. You don't even need to invest anything. And for the ones that do require equipment, you probably need maybe weight, and that's about it. Um, but yeah, you can save lots of money by not going to the gym and just investing a few, you know, a few things and watching your exercises at home and yeah, getting essentially the same, the same thing. Number seven would be drinking more water drinking more water is one of those things that i know probably a lot of people have talked about in the past um but yeah it, it it's essentially one of those things that can save you tons of money because there are usually tons of taxes and stuff on sugary drinks and such so by simply switching your habits from drinking less sugary drinks and drinking more water um it's something that can that can be very helpful for your health not only for your health but can also save you lots of money so yeah that's uh seven is drinking lots more water and the last one is making picnic for a date um if you're gonna go on a date with maybe a few of your friends why not just decide to make a picnic uh, that you can take to maybe a park or something instead of going out and getting food. Uh, that's something that would save you a lot of money. Um, and it doesn't really cost you a lot. Maybe for something that you might get at the restaurant for maybe 20 something dollars. You can just make it and take it to a park and just, you know, sit down with a few of your friends and eat there. Um, yeah. But yeah, guys, those are eight tips that i use on a regular basis to save money uh if you have any question link link um comment down below uh if you have any suggestion as to videos that you would like to see on my channel um also comment them down below again don't forget to like my video comment on on this video if you have anything like i said earlier and if uh, if there's something that you would like me to include in my future videos or do better, I also want to hear from you down in the comment below. Alright, thanks guys.